All right, welcome back. So we're going to edit uh, this photo today. So again, taken at the five day workshop. Um, let's open this up and get to it. So don't wanna to do too much this. So all of these photos have been edited or this photo's been edited, raw edited first. Um, and then we're in JPEG form here. Um, this was shot uh, between two windows. So uh, I'm standing behind one piece of glass photographing and our model Klee is standing behind another piece of glass photographing and we're shooting uh, through the actual roof line or through the beams of the property uh, at Crew Hall. So the distance between uh, camera and model uh, I would estimate to be about 10, 12 meters maybe. Uh, and we're shooting through obviously two panes of glass. So it's difficult to get it exactly perfectly razor sharp when shooting through two pieces of very old glass. Um, but we, uh, we did our best. So as you can see, uh, I don't know who this is, whether it's Paul or Nick, um, not 100% sure who that is, but we are gonna have to edit that out. And obviously just running through, there's a few little spots and stuff that we need to get rid of here. So what I am going to do is, I'm not gonna run the whole retouch for me suite. Um, what I am gonna do is just very quickly run portrait volumes, dodge and burn, and I'm gonna run the Batterfly. I don't think we need the heal tool because there's nothing really to take out. Um, so we're gonna run those and I'm gonna leave the skin tone off as well because we don't need that. The only reason I'm running Mattifier is because there's a few little bright spots on Klee's face from the light that we're holding here. Um, and I just wanna see what portrait volumes um, and the dodge and burn does just to the overall frame itself. So let's run that. So again, if you would like uh, Retouch For Me, the amazing AI panel, you can get it in the description down below for 20% off at checkout with my code. Okay, so our Retouch For Me panel's run. Let's have a look at Mattifier. So there's some minor little adjustments there that Mattifier has done. Not a lot all round with retouch for me on that one, but looking at the frame, obviously you can see that she's quite small in the frame. So, um, all right, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna flatten that. Um, now, so now we need to run through the frame and just look at you know, the, the distractions and that sort of stuff. So very clearly you can see there's a lot of little spots and stuff here, um, lots of little distractions there. That's, uh, I, I believe, dust or you know, particles on the glass that we're shooting through. Um, there's you know, a couple of bits and pieces up here, a couple of bits up here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go through and adjust all of, fix up all of those uh, and we'll get rid of all of those. All right, so let's uh, have a look at that again. So when in doubt, zoom out. Um, there's a couple, there's a little spot here that I just wanna have a little look at. Just gonna clone stamp that, nothing too crazy. All right, so once again, to reiterate, I'm not in any way, shape or form a fine art editor or anything like that. Just an average, everyday, crazy Australian uh, doing everyday editing. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of these bits now. So all I'm using is um, the patch tool uh, with content aware selected. That's, that's pretty much it. Patch tool, content aware. Let's see how we go. Yeah, that one's good, that one's so we've made a little bit of a mess of this one. Um, I'll just run over that again, see if it does a better job. Yep, there we go. Cool, so sometimes you might need to do that twice. All right. And then this part here, I'll get rid of that content aware as well should be darker and then we'll get rid of this bit here cool so now the only part that's standing out is this bright part now 
I don't want to content aware that yet again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a brush. I'm going to go to darken and I'm going to select about 50%. I'm going to select the darker color that is next to it. And we're just going to paint that in just a little bit darker. There we go. Now, not really a problem. All right, so we've gotten rid of the the little specks and the other little bits and pieces that were um, distracting. Now we need to get rid of someone's head. <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking what I'm going to do here is I kind of want to clone this and just take it up to the top. Um, so we might have to do it in uh, in a couple of steps because I do want to. I want to avoid this brightness here from the light. Um, so what we probably should have done there was uh, taken one shot without anyone standing there without the light uh, and then brought the light a bit closer um, so that we can edit it out or just swap the whole thing out. Um, but because we didn't do that, we're going to fix it the hard way. And what did I do there? I just used the wrong tool. All right, so we want the clone tool. Sorry about that. See, I'm not a total pro at all. And put that back in. And let's have a look, and we're looking good. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to fix up this section here and get rid of the head. So, uh, what I feel like I want to do is copy this section here and just continue to move it up, but I know that it's going to look different. Uh, so the more I move it up, it's it's the pattern's going to be different and the the angles are going to be slightly different as well. So I think the best option is to try and darken it down uh, and try and just get rid of the head but keep utilizing the pattern that's here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this part, layer via copy, Again, quite rough, I know, but I'm just going to use it just here to hide whosever head that is. There we go. All right. So, as you can see, um, the colors are a little bit different, doesn't quite match. <clears throat> so I'm just going to add an adjustment layer and we're going to go to the black brush at normal about 50% and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide like rub this layer out um, just to the point that we can get rid of the head um, but it still looks like it should be there. Okay, cool. So I'm happy with that. What I might just do is brighten that just a little bit. Just to make it match. There we go. Done. Okay. Cool. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to be lazy and we're just going to flatten that. All right. And now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to grab my clone tool and come to the same spot down here. And we're going to grab that. And then we're going to edit that out. All the way up, there we go. Cool. So we've gotten rid of most of our person and their hand. 
So now I'm just going to keep following this up. Now, eventually, I'm going to run out of texture to use and it's going to start looking not quite right. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to select this pattern again and I'm going to grab it and drag it up. So I'm going to do it about there. There we go. Layer by copy. And then I'm just going to move it up. All right, so I'm going to reduce the opacity of that now. Actually, let's zoom in a bit so that we get it right. I'm going to reduce the opacity so I can line it up. make a couple of little adjustments to it cool all right so that looks about right there so what we're going to do is go back to 100% zoom out a bit and where are we at okay so first thing I can see we need to do is add the adjustment layer and then I'm going to again brighten this up oops need to actually select the image layer the adjustment layer and I'm just going to brighten this up just a touch so that it kind of matches. There we go, just a little bit. And now we're going to get our black brush. Add up, add up. I'm going to go to 100% now just to rub out uh, this section here. No, that was the wrong part. Black brush, 100%. I'm going to rub out this section. I'm going to rub out this section and rub out that. All right. So we can see we've got a bit of a white line there where I've gone a bit too far. The beauty with the adjustment layer is that we can go back and I can put that back in. And then we're just going to rub out this part a bit so that it blends. All right. And that's kind of, that's our wall sorted out. Um, the, the frame is going to be a whole other kettle of fish that we need to sort out. All right, so I'm going to flatten that. So now we need to work out what I'm going to do with the um, the frame uh, and how how we're going to work that. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I, I want to darken this whole bit down. I'm also going to darken this portion down a little bit as well because I want Clee to be our model Clee to be the the focus of this. Uh, so what I am going to do is I'm just going to select this whole area now I agree uh, could do this in a better way a maybe more precise cleaner way um, however this is the way that I know and this is how I'm going to do it. All right. So I'm not going to feather this too much because um, well, I need to feather it a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to be just a, a harsh line. But I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and mask this. 
um, and I'm going to expand the edge out a bit and I'm going to feather the edge a little bit just a couple of pixels um, there we go I'm going to output it to a layer there we go so see we've got a bit of a feathered edge there it's not too drastic um, but now all I'm going to do is I'm going to select this um, we're going to make this layer a luminosity layer so that we can adjust the luminosity as opposed to the color and then uh, sorry, we got the wrong, the wrong blend mode, luminosity. There we go. And I'm going to darken this all back. About that much. So, zoom out and check that. Yeah, that that color tone kind of goes with everything else. Um, with the luminosity layer, I don't think I can actually take color out of it. No, I can't, so we'll just leave that. Uh, if I make it a normal layer, what we may just do, I might just make it a normal layer because I'm okay with the color and we'll just pull, see how the color's changing. Um, what I'm gonna do is just pull a little bit of the color out of that. Cool, all right. All right, so there's our uh, our darkened area. All right, so there's a couple of little spots here that I want to fix. Um, what I am going to do is I'm just going to flatten that because I want to fix these little spots. All right, and then what I'm going to do is. I'm going to carry this darker area up a bit. We want this to all look the same and be quite dark all the way up, which it is. All right, so now come over here. Make sure this is lined up and just going to darken this area back a little bit because what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this section and we're going to drag it up a little bit. There we go. So all I've done there is basically gotten rid of this and just darkened the frame. So now my aim, if it works, is to grab this whole section here. And move it up. So we're going to layer via copy and, and move it up. And we're just going to try and match it to where the pattern in the wall is, the pattern in the uh, wallpaper. You can see it there. That's about it there. Go back to 100%. Zoom out. So we need to grab this layer and we just need to lighten it just a little bit so that it matches, okay. And then add an adjustment layer and then we need to the black brush Just remove the parts of it that 
uh, not quite right. Okay, now we've cut it a bit short here, but that will be an easy fix um, later on. And there we go. Cool. So again, I'm going to flatten that. Uh, actually, no, I won't. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this again and we're going to move it up again. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to stretch this just a little bit just so that it gets all the way to the top. I'm not too concerned about the top right hand corner um, with the pattern there because we're going to remove that anyway. So let's go to black brush again and on this layer Black brush, 100%. All right, and then we're just going to rub out this layer. And get rid of this part as well. So this is where we need to be a little bit careful and just follow the line of the window, not go too crazy. working out what layer we're on so we might just put this bit back is that going to no that's not going to help us either so let's put that back and we'll sort that out afterwards all right so let's zoom out see how we look yeah look that's it's not perfect but I'm okay with that it's it's going to be dark and you're not really going to see it so I'm not wildly concerned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these two layers. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to go to this one with a black brush and I'm just going to rub out this section. There we go, that sorts out that problem. And then, then we can flatten. All right, cool. So as you can see, we've got these little bits here that we need to, we need to just fix up, which will be fairly easy. Um, clone, grab the side of the, uh, of the panel, and I'm just gonna carry that across doesn't really matter too much about the frame because it's quite repetitive so you're not going to see too much of it uh, same as this part here just want to make sure it's close to being right all right cool there we go so we've gotten rid of our person uh, yes a bit of a painful way to do it but we we got there in the end all right, so now that we've got the right hand side a little bit darker, we need to darken back this side. I was previously thinking that I was going to grab this side and flip it over to here, um, but I don't think that's gonna be the best option. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a layer. I'm gonna make it a luminosity layer, so we're only adjusting luminosity. 
and then I'm going to go to levels and I'm just going to darken the whole thing back. To about there, I think, because um, I quite like how that looks. And then we'll add a layer mask to that. So what I'm doing is I'm just darkening this side back to try and match the other side. Um, so I've put a layer mask on it. I'm going to invert that now just to see if we're at about the same level, which we kind of are. Might just go, uh, actually, just going to put this back. Just going to go a little bit more. Uh, whoops, wrong part. Cancel, I need to select the actual image. Just want to darken things back just a touch more. There we go. And so that has changed the color tone of it um, a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to manual, uh, go to normal, sorry. And I'm going to pull just a tiny bit of color out of that. But I might do that in a minute um, after we paint it in. So I'm going to invert that layer. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to paint this layer in. So because it's a black, we want to see it. So I'm going to go white brush, normal. And we're just going to paint this layer in. So we're just going to continue uh, rubbing out the, the lighter part um, with our layer mask. So we're going to go, obviously we're using a our brush 100% because it's black we want to brush it in so we want uh, a white brush and we're just brushing in the the darker color um, the, the darker area of, of this it's the wrong one let's go to here <clears throat> uh, actually sorry we need to invert no we don't what is going on? Ah, black. <clears throat> okay, so white brush, and we're just brushing in the the darker area that we previously darkened back. And we're just doing it a little bit roughly at this point because we can because it's a layer mask, we can go through and fine tune it afterwards. All right, there we go. So that looks fine, I'm happy with that. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just saving as I go because we, uh, had a Photoshop crash just before. <clears throat> so I'm just going to save as we go. Uh, now we're going to grab our black brush and we're going to fine tune things a little bit just to make sure that we've got uh, all of the brightness of Klee, all of the highlights and stuff of her and none of the darker stuff that we've darkened back for the background. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more and just check this. Just being a little bit more detailed with this part now. going crazy but <clears throat> so 
there's a little bit here which I want to put back in So she's not super duper sharp and there is a bit of noise in this frame um, but I'm pretty happy with how this all looks. Just going to fine tune things just a little bit more. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. It's, it can be a little bit brighter than this side because there is the light over here. So, um, and we can also remove a bit of the contrast from here as well. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is image contrast and we're gonna take a bit of the contrast out. I'm just gonna take all of the contrast out actually and that has lightened it up, so now I'm just going to darken it back down a little bit. Like so. Okay. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm kind of good at how that looks, so I'm going to flatten that. <clears throat> now there's just this little bit here that is kind of annoying me a little bit. Uh, and there's this little bit here that I, I want to get rid of. So for these bits, um, I'm just going to use the brush, yeah, darken mode, go to about 58, 60%, select the brown color, and then I'm just going to run over that area. was actually a little bit messy <clears throat> so what we might do instead of that I'm going to clone it so clone stamp and kind of just going to make sure we have no kind of repetition so much and I'm going to do that All right, and then I'll come back and fix the top part of that shortly. And we're gonna do the same with this. So what I am gonna do here is I wanna fix up this part. And then we'll grab that and go up. All right, so now we'll grab that darkened brush and darken these areas back a bit. So let's zoom out, check that. It does look a little bit, uh, a little bit drunk. Um, because of the clone tool that we used. So I just want to fix that a little bit. There you go, that's better. Cool, and then we're gonna come over here and once again, uh, just gonna grab some of the brown with the darkened brush and we're gonna darken this back. So 
still looks a bit messy actually. So we need to find a better way to do this. So what we might do is reduce the opacity a bit and we'll go the darker color in here. And we'll just get the inside a little bit. And a little bit out there, a little bit in here. And then we might grab the clone tool and we'll go darken on the clone tool. We'll drop that back to about 40% and we'll select this part and then we'll run across. What we might also do is grab the clone here. Darken as well. All right, so not too concerned because it is a fair distance out. Um, just notice something else. Looks like we're missing a little bit of the the um, the wood sort of stuff here. So I kind of want to use the clone to put that back. Just so that that doesn't stand out too much. Put that back. And this back a little bit all right so there we go a um, little bit challenging but I think we um, I think we got there in the end so now I've just spotted a little bit of stuff up here so we're going to content aware fill that out easy all right um, because I'm a little bit skeptical on Photoshop, uh, I'm just gonna save that again. Cool, so now we've got our frame with all the distractions with everything removed, uh, taking us a little bit. So now we can get on to um, just looking at the model, a bit of skin, um, just taking away a bit of the um, a bit of the highlight that's on her. So again, we're gonna go darken with the brush. I'm gonna, just gonna go to like 12%. And then I'm going to select a darker part on her. And then with a bigger brush, I'm just going to brush that in a little bit. Same as on her cheek and same as on her hand. I'm just using the same color because you know, the color is not going to change very much at all. Um, all right. So I'm seeing this, this part here and this part here, which is purely coming from the glass um, but it does give the impression that we've done something or flipped it or something like that um, but you can obviously see this is where the light was previously so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that darken tool again and we're just going to darken that back so you can't actually see it we still want to see just a little bit of it um, but not not too much we want to see that that it's actually there but we don't want to see as much of it as we are there we go that's that one and that one can remain the same Cool. that looks better all right so we've softened off our model skin uh, or got rid of the shine a little bit um, now because there is quite a bit of noise in this photo because we're obviously relatively high ISO and we're also shooting through two panes of glass uh, I do want to soften the frame quite a bit now if we use the 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 signature soften that I got from Marcus Bell what's going to happen is if I play that it's going to darken everything back um, and although that's okay or I, I kind of didn't want everything darkened back too much because I still want to be able to see the detail and stuff in all this wood 
Um, so what I'm thinking that I'm going to do is I'm going to use this action. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop it down just a little bit. But then I'm going to go to the frame and I'm going to remove contrast from it. So what that's going to do is it's going to soften the frame as the action does, um, hence taking out a little bit of the noise in the photo. Um, not a great deal, but a little bit. But what it's also done is it's softened the model as well. So with a black brush, we need to rub that out. Um, so I'm going to go to 100%. and we're going to rub her out. So what I might, uh, let's, we'll rub, her all, rub all of her out to begin with and then we'll see what happens and see if we want to make any further adjustments to her.